Our doll bread. Cornstarch dough versus salt dough. I think they both have their pluses and minuses. Hey, that looks like a minus and that one looks like a plus. Oops. <laughs> Look, isn't that cool? I'm not meaning that this one is a minus and this one's a plus. They both have, you know, good stuff about them and then some things I'm not so crazy about. Uh, kind of blurry here. There we go. Uh, I actually like the cornstarch dough a little bit more. Cornstarch dough is made of cornstarch, baking soda, and water. And you can bake it in the oven at a very low temperature or you can allow it to air dry. And air drying is awesome for those who cannot use the oven. Oh, come on, Mom. No. But the main thing to remember is to not make it too thick. And that actually goes for both of them. Because um, if you make it too thick, it is going to crack. Even though sometimes that's not such a bad thing. Like right here with this uh, salt dough bread. It kind of made some little nooks and crannies. But that also helps it to make it look more awesome. You know, a little bit more authentic. Because it's all bread looking. You know, it's supposed to be bread. And it looks like bread. And it's made from stuff that we'd normally be used to make bread. So, yeah. Okay, so salt dough is pretty awesome too. Well, how long does it last? And will it mold? This is the bread from our original salt dough video from August 2012. So that's like, what, two years ago? Almost. And it's doing pretty well, considering we used, what, like makeup and nail polish on it? I mean, that's pretty good. However, it can be pretty heavy for the dolls to hold. Ugh! Let's see how many she can hold before she drops them. That's one. Ugh. And in that same video, we used Model Magic, which is extremely light, um, but we don't always have it around the house. And if you do buy it, you have to pretty much use it fairly quickly, otherwise it's going to dry out. And it's not as durable as the salt dough, because if you want to snap this in half, you totally can. However, the Model Magic allows me to make the bread larger, like for an American girl, and still avoid, you know, like it's splitting and cracking and stuff like that. Ha! I can hold four of these. Whether using cornstarch dough or salt dough, you have to allow it to completely dry out if you want to prevent molding, squishy spots, or anything yucky. Using a very low heat on the oven for a few hours is a great way to do that. About 175 is a good temperature because you're just trying to dry it out. And then you still have to watch it, you know, keep an eye on it, because if you leave it in too long, it will start to crack. Making my case for cornstarch dough, because after you make it, just set it on the counter and walk away for a few days. However, cornstarch dough is a little more fragile. If I drop this, it will most likely break. And the kids are home from school. So have fun spoiling your dolls with all of these fabs and baked goods. And it's mine, all mine! That was a horrible laugh, do that over again. And it's mine, all mine! We want to give a shout out to Stafford 2900. What's up?